Spotify if you're new here please subscribe and it is part two of the sandwich series using the Pea Louise Dish in the Dirt collection I don't know why I thought that was a good idea to start off my intro like that um, but yeah this is look two of my series so if you haven't already seen look one I'll link it down below so for this look I went for the green tones in the palette so it's sort of like a triple cut crease with a peewee's pigment but it's also like an ombre liner these lashes are massive so you can't really see the look that much but yeah if you want to see how I got this look with the second part of my series then please keep on watching before we get into it please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe as it really helps out my channel and yeah let's get straight on into this look so for this look i'm going to be starting off with the p louise ruru 2 base just to carve out my lid space and i thought i'd be a little bit more chatty in this video just because my last video i wasn't as chatty <laughs> that's just because it was like a million degrees in that room that day like no joke it was absurd how hot it was it was so hot that I can't believe I even put makeup on like I was thinking to myself do I really want to put makeup on but I'm really looking forward to this series so I thought I'd do the one eye off camera just to make it a little bit more easier and also just because I was just messing around with it and this is just what I came up with so yeah this is what I came up with so just an update with my short hair literally i haven't been like out out <laughs> like shopping with my short hair ever since i've had it short so literally yesterday me and chain had some like errands to do food shopping and other bits and it was just i felt so weird because going around with short hair i was like oh my god what do i look like i feel like hair is definitely a big part of yourself and when you do make a hair change like everyone was going for pink hair and stuff when you do make a big hair change you sort of go oh my god who am i <laughs> so i'm just going to buff this base out with my spectrum bo3 brush so I've got this sandwich palette all laid out in front of me. So I'm going to put like a little square of what um, shadow I'm going to use. I'm going to be taking the shade Indulge and this is the SK03 brush. So I'm just picking up that Indulge shade and then I'm just going to start just by mapping out where I'm going to put my cut crease. And it's so much more easier doing it with a smaller brush. I don't know what I was doing with that big brush days. Literally, I have no idea what I was doing with those big brushes to lay my first shade. Like, what was I doing? <laughs> I feel like a new woman within a day. So, like I said, I'm just mapping out where I'm going to put my cut crease. And like you see on this side, I've sort of gone for this sort of accentuated cut crease. So, the next shade I'm going to be taking is called Eat Me. I'm going to be taking it on my P. Louise Who Lost in My Blend brush. And I'm going to just start by buffing these two shades together and just going around the outside of that first shade we laid and that was called indulge so I'm literally just buffing eat me and indulge together and just using small circular motions I was just thinking like how mad it is that we're still in lockdown like it's crazy because it's like a blessing but it's also a curse <laughs> That sounds so funny um but it is a blessing to be honest because my makeup skills have been improved so much but then of course the economy is not really back on its feet yet and a lot of people are struggling and all i can do is just send my love it's just such a hard time right now and like obviously shane's working and i'm not working but i feel like youtube has just been such a foundation for me because it is my work um, but of course I don't get paid for it, but it's my passion, so that is my work. Do so you know what I mean? Like, I'm just building up my makeup skills and everything like that, and eventually I do want my passion to become my work. I'm sure a lot of opportunities will come my way in the future. I've just got to keep working, and hopefully I'll get there. And also, it's just mad how things plan out, like just mad so next i'm going to be taking the shade taste me and i'm going to be taking on the morphe y13 brush i literally had to say that like three times before i could say brush for some reason but as i was saying i was basically saying literally everything happens for a reason and i definitely believe that we have someone watching over us whether you believe that's the universe or god or whoever you are more connected to 
but yeah it's just so mad how things plan out because literally yesterday it was such a good example because we started off the day really positive and then we got some bad news but then another opportunity came which was even better than the first one and it's just mad how things plan out um but yeah i'm just blending that shade taste me into these two other shades and just giving that a nice like ombre effect and then i'm just going to build these shades back up again so I'm just going to go back in with that shade Indulge and what I'm doing is literally the sandwich stages so I'm going with a darker colour first then going in the middle colour and then going with the more lighter colour and then what goes up must come back down so basically I'm just doing the same steps just re-intensifying those shades and just giving that a really nice ombre feel to this cut crease so next comes the hard part I'm just going to be taking a wet wipe this is literally um Mamiya wet wipe <laughs> I think it's a Mamiya, <laughs> a Mamiya wet wipe, <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny but I'm literally going to um, take a Mamiya wet wipe um, because I literally don't really carry Vaseline with me or I don't really know if I have any in the house. So I'm going to be taking this, I'm just going to be wrapping it around my finger really really sharp and then I'm just going to pull and then literally just start to wipe away the Pee Wee's base that we laid down already. And I know this might seem like a waste of Pee Wee's base, but I've tried doing it before in like different looks and it just doesn't work the same if you don't take the base away and you just try to lay a shade. So I'm literally taking small motions and then I'll just tighten my eyelid and just try to get that off the lid. And basically what we're doing is trying to create this cut crease on the other side. So I like to just get off the P. Louise base first and then I'll go into the actual shadow. So basically where we've laid that first shade in dolls, you want to cut really close to it just so we get that really, really nice dark shade, that first layer of our sandwich stages. So it's really distinct and that's where our cut crease is going to be. And of course you can use Vaseline if you want to, but I just use a wet wipe and it seems to work for me. So, and it really, really helps just using your eye shape. So I just literally pull on my eye shape and just follow the eye shape round. So after cutting my crease with the wet wipe, now I'm gonna be using the P. Louise. This is the Touch of Frost base. And this was in their winter collection. So I'm gonna be taking this on the new brush from the um, Dish in the Dirt collection. And this is what a treat my base brush is. And it's just a really, really good brush for cutting the crease. So I'm just gonna be cutting the crease with this paint and this brush. So when doing this, I'm literally just following the cut crease line. And I'd recommend to do this really, really slowly, um, but this brush really does help when doing it. So I just went off camera just complete cutting my crease with the P. Louise Winter Base Touch of Frost. And now I'm going to be taking the shade Flavor just on a little dome brush. And then what I'm going to do now is just be packing over that Touch of Frost shade. Just because with these normal um, bases you do have to set them. Um, they're not like the acid rain collection so I'm just going to set this with the shade flavor so when I was cutting the crease it doesn't actually look that symmetrical to the other one but I'm just rolling with it <laughs> it'll be all right in the end so now for this look I'm going to cut the crease again using my same wet wipe and I'm just going to cut the crease and just do the exact same thing that I did for the other side and the last cut crease that we did. So I'm just making sure that this line is actually quite thin and I don't know if you can see on the other side I did actually triangle it off at the end. So I'm just trying to replicate that on this side. When you get the hang of the wet wipe, the wet wipe is actually really useful. <laughs> For like cut creases like these, they do come in quite handy. So after you've done that line, and even if you're not happy with it, you can literally fix it with this next step. So I'm going to go back in with my Ruma 2 base, and just taking on the same brush that I cut my crease with. And what you're going to do is literally just clean up that line. And also this is going to be your base for the shimmer as well and yeah I'm just gonna cut this out making sure it's all nice and neat 
So I just went off camera just to do the rest of the cut crease and I feel like these aren't looking very symmetrical. That's really annoying me. So yeah, I don't know how I'm feeling about that right now, but we're gonna roll with it because it'll be all right. I'm sure it will come together, even though it's not very symmetrical. <laughs> So after doing that, I'm just going to go in with the P. Louise. This is the Gold Digger Pigment. This pigment is so, so good. So I'm just going to be taking this on a small brush. Let me just undo the lid. You have to be very careful with this glitter because it literally goes everywhere. So I'm taking this um, pigment on the Sosu XK. This is the SK07 brush. And then I'm just going to start applying this pigment right in that crease. So I'm just applying this pigment right in that crease and as you can see we've just carried it along where we cut the crease anyway and this pigment is quite a big chunk of the cut crease so I'm just making sure it's got enough pigment in the area I'm going to cut the crease again. So for the next stage you'll be happy to hear that I did not use a wet wipe so I'm just going to go back in with my um, touch of frost just because wet wipes do can actually like really irritate your skin that's why whenever I do cleanse my face and I am going to do an updated skincare routine soon but I'm going to be taking that touch of frost shade but yeah using a wet wipe did where I went off track there using a wet wipe can be quite harsh to your skin so definitely if you are going to cleanse your skin use like a balm the body shop balm is really good the Animus Balm is really good or I've heard that the Boots Glow Glow Stick Balm that's a really good dupe so anyway I'm just using this Touch of Frost shade and I'm going to do the second line so nice and easy just cutting this out again so I just went off camera just to cut the crease again with the wet wipe before cutting again with the P. Louise base. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Taste Me and I'm going to just pack this on the base just because we're going to be making like an ombre liner now so i'm just stretching the skin and i'm just packing that shade taste me which is going to be the start of our ombre after packing that shade taste me on i'm going to go in with the shade indulge now and this is the darker shade and i just like to pack it in the middle just because i thought it would give a different effect where it goes from the lightest to the darkest to then the middle i just thought that would be a really cool like ombre liner effect so i'm just packing this in the middle and then lastly i'm going to be going in with the shade eat me and i'm going to place it just on the end where we finish our ombre So don't worry about the blend just yet, we are going to blend it, I'm just laying down the colours first. And then I'm just going back in with that green shade. So now I'm going to be going in with that middle shade called Eat Me and then I'm just going to buff this out just with the original small fluffy blending brush and we're just going to buff this out. Then taking the shade Taste Me, the lighter shade, and I'm going to buff it out again. And we sort of like wing it out almost. Then taking the shade Delicious, and I'm going to continue just to buff this out, just making sure it's all nice and like blended as much as you want it to. I kind of like this sort of odd blend here because it's sort of satisfying. <laughs> Um, just so you get a vibrance if that makes sense so it's all about what you want to do with it I just came up with this and I just thought it looked cool so I'm staying with it I definitely feel like this side isn't as good as this side because this side sort of flows more nicer but I don't know I'm just having one of those days where I can't get them like sisters they're just non-symmetrical twins <laughs> So now I'm just going to be taking more of my P. Louise base and I'm just going to be applying it underneath the lash line just so we can do our bottom eye shadow as well just to tie up the eye. So the first shade for underneath the eyes I'm going to take the darker shade called Indulge. I'm just going to run this underneath. Then I'm going to be taking the shade Eat Me and then just running that underneath as well just building these shades back up. Same what we did with over the top. 
And then last but not least, taking the shade Taste Me. And that is out. Okay, so that's what we're looking like at the moment. I'm just gonna apply some mascara now. This is the L'Oreal Baby Roll Mascara. Then I'm gonna be taking the e.l.f. gel liner to apply to my top waterline. For lashes, I'm gonna be using the Tatty Lashes. These are the Mimma Mitchell Collab. This is the Mimma Mitchell 2 lashes. So I'm gonna be applying glue on this to my lash band and I'm sticking them on. So while my lash is drying, I'm gonna be doing my inner corner like glitter highlight. So I'm gonna be taking the Revolution Glitter Glue and then I'm just gonna apply a small amount of this into the inner corner just because we've obviously applied shadow over the top of the base by now so there's no stickiness there so I'm just applying a small amount of glitter glue there so of course I'm using that same P. Louise gold digger pigment and then I'm just applying this to the inner corner so these are the lashes on yes they're big yes they're dramatic they are Instagram baddie lashes yes we need big lashes for this look living for it so to finish off the ice on my waterline before applying mascara i'm going to be using the blank canvas x mitchell this is just perfect for the waterline so that is the eyes literally done so yeah i'm going to go off camera and do my base and we're going to come back we're going to do the same thing that we did in the first look of my series and do the highlight and we're going to do the brows with the peewee's sandwich collection brow duo so i'm back with my base makeup and i thought the camera was recording when I was doing my highlight and stuff but it actually wasn't so for highlight I use the Josh Cosmetics this is the cream highlight it's just such an amazing glowy highlight like this is extreme glow like Instagram glow highlight so if you are going to use it for every day I definitely recommend just to use a tiny bit just because it is very very glowy and then for my brows of course I use the P. Louise brow duo this is in the shade espresso also when I was off camera as well I did actually apply the shade nibble me from the um one of the end of the sandwiches uh yeah that one for the eyebrow highlight and yeah this is the second look using the P. Louise sandwich palettes and yeah I really really like it it's a little bit extra it's sort of cut creases I'm looking down because you can't really see that I look when I look up but yeah I really really like this look I think it has to be my favorite so far also I've got one more look using this palette so I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of triple cut crease ombre sort of moment and hopefully I'll see you in my next episode of my series I hope you guys enjoyed this look and hopefully I'll see you in my next one bye everyone